Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Aubrey here from Projects and Racing and uh, welcome back to another video. Uh, in this video we're going to be doing something a little bit different than driving today. Uh, I'm going to be talking about um, OpenXR VR and Open Composite. Um, it's a new way to um, to use your HP Reverb G2. Uh, well that's one I'm going to be featuring in this video because that's the headset I use. Uh, may work for other headsets but um, I, the reason why I'm doing this video is because a lot of people have uh, performance issues and a lot of issues using Steam VR uh, and using this for your sim racing completely eliminates Steam VR uh, and you'll get uh, in most cases uh, you'll get much much better performance uh, and much better visual quality as well with your HP Reverb G2. Uh, so basically all you're going to want to do uh, guys is is download Open Composite. From the, I'll put all the links in the description. Uh, so you need to download Open Composite. It's still a uh, work in progress, this program. Uh, but have a bit of a read through the re website here. Um, it has been tested with uh, Automobile Lister 2, Seto Corsa. Uh, I had a lot of trouble with uh, Seto Corsa Competizione, so I'm not going to be um, using that in this video. Um, the only three sims I'm going to be using uh, in this video are AMS2, Assetto Corsa uh, and R Factor 2. Uh, I couldn't get it working with uh, Race Room either. Um, it just kept on crashing. I'm not quite sure. I have to look further into that. Uh, but those three sims there are the ones I use most, mostly anyway. So there's two ways you can download this, guys. Um, the way that I did it, and for me is the easiest way, is download the Open Composite Launcher. Um, you can download the uh, DLLs, uh, the 32-bit and 64-bit DLLs, uh, and then it just uh, case of reading through this and place some of the files in the specific game that you're going to be playing or sim. Once you've uh, downloaded that, guys, you're going to be uh, you're going to extract it and open the folder anywhere you like on your computer, and you're going to be left with this little um, these little files here. And what you want to do is open Composite, click the EXE file there, and you'll get this little box here. Um, I've already got it installed, so what you do is you just basically start it. Um, you switch to uh, OpenVR, Open Composite, and what it will do is it will download files specifically. Don't worry, guys, if you ever want to go uh, revert back to SteamVR, you can obviously you can click SteamVR button here and it will just use SteamVR and not use Open Composite at all. Um, and then, so you have to download that. You also have to make sure that you have uh, OpenXR. Uh, tools downloaded uh, and you get those from the Microsoft page um, on Windows uh, so make sure you download OpenXR tools for uh, Windows Mixed Reality uh, to download that guys you'll get the latest um, version and once you got that then yeah you need to run Open Composite um, it'll download the files then when you're done, that's it. You can close that box off and it's all ready to go. And you can close off the folder as well. So then we're going to be, uh, this is the only uh, folder we're going to be playing with. These settings here are the only ones in VR you're going to be playing with. Uh, so for Automobilista 2, you can run this in two ways. So um, the two main ways you can have, you can just change the, uh, you can have a custom render scale and you can use this slider here to, to your heart's content and play around with it. Uh, but if you if you want the best visual and um, very stable and smooth on the eyes, you turn motion reprojection to always on for Automobilist 2, and then you can have the render scale anywhere from uh, like 100 to 150 percent even. Okay, we'll run at about 45 frames per second, uh, but on your eyes it'll be much much smoother. It'll be beautiful smooth, and uh, you'll get much better uh, visual quality as well and sharpness. Um, you can actually get better performance as well than um, than uh, Steam VR by by turning motion reprojection off and then just playing around with the uh, the render scale settings here. So I found with AMS2 you can actually run that down to about what you would with um, with uh, Steam VR. You can run that down to even like 55% and have motion reprojection off, then it will run at 90 frames per second. Uh, and I will be doing that most of my time when recording uh, because I want it to record as close to 90 frames per second as I can uh, because I want it to be smooth. If I use reprojection, if I have that on and, and record, uh, it will record at 45 frames per second it will look very choppy. So um, for my videos, I actually will run that. But for you guys, if you're just going to be using it 
um, for AMS2, run that at about 110%. Motion reprojection, put that on, uh, and, and it will run nice and smooth for you guys. So then what you do to start Automobilista 2, you go to your library, Automobilista 2, click play, and then what you do is you launch Oculus VR mode, click play, and then obviously it thinks that, hang on, you haven't got an Oculus headset, uh, but just click OK anyway, and it will run the game. Uh, it won't start Steam VR. It will just run the game, and everything will be perfect. And see how you go with that, guys. So that's Automobilista 2, uh, with a set of course Competizioni. Uh, sorry, a set of course. I'm not going to be running uh, ACC here. Uh, I'm just going to be running a set of courses. So we're going to be start up the content manager. Um, don't worry about this. It's just because I've loaded this up on my ultra wide monitor. It's come up with that resolution. Um, normally it would come up to 4K because I have my uh, 4K TV while I'm recording anyway. So all you want to do guys uh, is you would normally run that um, yeah so basically you just run that in open VR and start the game and then again it won't launch Steam VR it will just launch open VR and it'll be ready to go. Now the settings for Seto Corsa I run that at a hundred you can run that at a hundred percent and you can turn motion reprojection off for a set of Corsa uh, and the, you just get crystal clear vision it is amazing guys you get much better performance than um, than Steam VR it is fantastic if you do get performance problems you can always turn reprojection on and play around with the render scale um, start at 100% and leave it on um, again it will be running at 45 frames per second but you'll get nice and smooth and have really good clarity um, with a set of Corsa. Okay, and the next game we're going to be talking about is uh, R Factor 2. R Factor 2, I run at 100% scale uh, and I have motion reprojection on. The game is um, pretty hardcore on your um, computer, so I have motion reprojection on, always on, and render scale 100%. And to start R Factor 2, all you do is you uh, obviously got to make sure guys that you have R Factor 2 configured for VR so what you need to do is you click the play button you go to graphics configuration it will load up the graphics configuration in a second and uh, I have uh, HMD on and I have the mirror so I can record um, so make sure that's on guys and then what you do to start R Factor 2 is you just start as normal so just play R Factor 2 you don't have to go into dev mode or anything else, just go into R Factor 2. Um, the game will launch on whatever monitor you're using, uh, but then when you actually go to drive the car, um, your headset will, will come on and you'll, you'll, you'll be playing in your, in your headset. And that's it guys, so basically um, with The Sims, I haven't actually tested iRacing yet, but um, I think it works with iRacing. But guys, all you've got to play around with with performance is um, you, you can you can turn motion reprojection off and then play around with that render scale and, see, and get the best performance guys you could just see uh, which is best for you uh, but generally if you have motion reprojection on you can have the render scale up much higher than normal uh, and you'll get uh, super smooth um, VR gameplay that's pretty much it guys so um, yeah we just uh, I've been testing this for the weekend so far uh, I've seen a few people using it um, it's still work in progress but um, this just eliminates Steam VR uh, and it will give you great performance um, in VR um, especially if you've got uh, a lower system than I, that I'm using a 3090 so you know it wasn't a huge problem for me in the first place but uh, a lot of people don't have um, 3090 and they have smaller graphics cards and CPUs so um, having OpenXR and um, and using it in this way and using open composite as well um, using open composite it, it is a fantastic way to uh, use your sim racing that's it guys um, I'll leave that with you if you like my videos hit that thumbs up guys it really helps the algorithm there and helps my channel um, if you haven't subscribed subscribe already and uh, we'll see you in the next video guys thanks for watching